Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of January um, 2022. Now, it is a general reading. Um, that being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, also, although I'm reading for January, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Um, also, just before I begin, um, because I know a lot of you don't stick around to the end of the video, I wish you would, but I know um, a lot of people don't. So, um, with that in mind, please, uh, I hope you guys have a very safe and happy uh, holiday. I wish you Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all the best in the new year. <clears throat> Let's begin. Now, this could be your energy or it could be the other person's, but um, somebody has an open wound or is carrying one uh, with the mushrooms there. There's a lot of issues uh, in this relationship or between you. It feels like a lot of issues, but it's just one thing that's causing all of these problems. And I'll tell you what it is. I know what it is right away. There's no communication. And so, and, and this has been going on for quite some time. Most likely you're married or in a married-like situation. Um, because there's a history of this. There's a history here, okay, um, of somebody pretending to be okay when they're not. Of somebody pretending that everything is all right when it's not and uh, hiding their pain here this has been going on for a long time with this tree and here we see from there from the root of that all these other issues pop up the card of loss it speaks to heartbreak feeling uh, abandoned or rejected or feeling unloved you're in the dark here but you're in the dark but neither are you talking ace of swords is in the reverse so there's no talking and yet i i feel like you're together it's just like you're not talking or you're not talking about what you need to be talking about you may be talking about the everyday uh, things, but what really needs attention is being avoided. And I feel, uh, we see here, we have the mushrooms, okay? And these are all these little issues that seem to be uh, separate, but are not. They're actually coming from the one place. And the um, Queen of Cups here, she's in the reverse. So I feel like you, you, either you or they are carrying a wound. Because when she's upright, you see her hand is healing a wound. But in reverse, it's not healing. So, and I think that it has to do with this Eight of Swords. I think that she's keeping that wound open she fears she's going to be a victim she is carrying that pain she she's imagining the worst and is maybe afraid to confront these fears and so she stays in the dark and, you know, she, she carries pain. She grieves with the card of loss. See? See, here she is. Look at that. You see, here she is. She feels like she's going to be a victim, you know, because this Three of Swords, it hasn't happened. It's in her imagined fears. She imagines that this will happen. She imagines that... Uh, you know, that she's going to become a victim. Oops, I'm sorry, I hit the mic. Because she's had some 
bad experiences in the past and she still carries these open wounds. She hasn't healed from them. And so um, it feels like, see, I have all of these insecurities and I have this card of hinting. So something is hinting that maybe uh, her partner has been cheating because I have the cheating card next to the hinting and a deceit third party. So she feels uh, she feels that she sees little signs um, that um, that her partner could be cheating, but they're not talking. So all she can do, really, she's in the dark. In the dark, she imagines things that aren't really there. And all of these insecurities are because they're they don't talk they don't talk verbally and they don't talk uh, at a intimate level if you know what I mean because of imagined things and who knows maybe he uh, is mirroring her because nobody's talking and so she just um, Look at that hand. It almost looks like a, it almost looks like that other healing hand here. Uh, yeah, that the Queen of Cups has. Um, she's falling into her fears now. Here's her fears. See at the heart. But now she's just like falling right into them. It's like they swallow her whole. feeling helpless, um, illusions of the mind, illusions of the dark that trap us into believing things, make us afraid. And she's afraid, she's afraid of what communication uh, could bring that maybe if she asks or speaks up that maybe it's going to be hurtful. So she's afraid of this truth. Because why? Because she's been imagining all kinds of things here. So she need, But she needs to get the courage to face this challenge. She needs to face these fears because strength is here. And so the challenge is in facing these fears and not <clears throat> excuse me, not letting them or allowing them to, you know, just swallow her whole this way. She feels helpless. She's assessing her situation, holding back. She's afraid. She's afraid here of, um, of what the, her future options will be should they uh, sit down and have this talk. So she's like, really undecided. Um, she feels like things are out of her hands, like uh, like it's being forced in, upon her, you know, what's happening. But what's happening is actually in her mind. She has no real facts that this is going on. And But because of the imagination, and we have it here again, with the moon, she's wondering, she's afraid that she won't have her uh, happily ever after back or her happy family back. And so, um, it feels like uh, She's, it's almost like a, she feels really trapped, like she can't get out of or release this pain, but she wants to. If she wants, if she wants this Ten of Cups here, she's going to have to, she's going to have to, 
uh, be willing to step out of the dark and have this conversation and get the actual facts. She has to go and get the facts. She has to turn this Ace of Swords around and get her information correctly because she's being misinformed most likely by the imagination. She feels like she's on the outside, like the, the warmth has gone and she, and she wants that back. And I feel that uh, I feel that she will do that. She has no choice because she can't continue like this any longer. And so, with the Seven of Wands, I feel like even though at this point for her, because of all the fear she has, it, but I mean, it's just her perception. She'll, she'll find out that it's not as bad as what she thinks. But right now, in the moment, it's her perception that it's out of reach, that it's way up there on that cliff but she does want to fight for it and it is that action of wanting to fight for it that's going to bring her very close or bring that to her you know because you see she feels defeated but um she feels defeated with this uh she feels like she's she feels the loss of this communication, of the intimacy between her and her partner. And she grieves over that like a death, you know. And she feels defeated, but she wants it. I feel like she takes a decision for uh, to, to fight for it. It's her only chance because she can't know. This is a card here of pain. She's carrying pain. Um, she doesn't know really what her status is anymore here. But, you know, I mean, she's pretending everything's okay, but inside it's not, right? The moment she decides to make the change, because she has to, if she wants change, she has to be the change. And the moment she decides to make the change, it's like it just flips around. It changes everything. The minute she goes after it and she stops being afraid, and she goes and she has that communication, she'll find out that it wasn't as bad as what she thought, and she'll find out that this person indeed does love her and that they do you know she'll get back that sense of belonging which she lost back here she will receive a wish the moment she decides that she decides to sit down it's like they come back together they come back together reconciliation right here the one um this is a a divine marriage twin flame Union. I feel like she wanted to know the future bad enough and that she loved this person deep enough that she was the change that was needed.
I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.